What's going on guys, Simply Pops here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to be doing the perfect iPad Pro setup. Now, this is my perfect iPad Pro jailbroken setup. I'm now, taking a look at the wallpaper, of course, I'm going to throw this link in the description, let's clear that notification. As you guys can see, very, very nice. I feel like this is something that Apple would have a wallpaper for, for one of their iOSs. Um, but yeah, I would throw this wallpaper link down below. And right off the bat, just starting off with the tweak, we have a tweak called Jellyfish. Jellyfish is very, very, very beautiful to look at. Um, I cannot get my city to actually locate. It makes the clock nice and bold and easy to see from a distance. Really, really nice to look at. And yeah, I got the good old iPad Pro 9.7 inch. This is basically the iPad Pro first generation. It's the same chipset, the A9X chip. The theme I'm rocking out with is called Felicity. This is just my go-to theme. It just looks so, it looks like something that Apple would do. It's very, very well done. Flashy colors. It just looks so vibrant, especially on that beautiful retina display. Now, the first tweak I'm going to show you guys is actually called Require Full, and this is my staple. This is probably the best iPad tweak of all time. Now, let's say I'm watching YouTube, right? And shout out to Noah. You know, <laughs> he's coming up, man. He's coming up. So, let's say I'm watching YouTube. And I want to open up another app on the side. Now, certain applications doesn't support with the slide over. But let's say, for example, Instagram. I can have Instagram on the side and YouTube on the side at the same time, which is pretty freaking amazing. Like Instagram and YouTube uh, on the slide over, which is pretty cool. It is a little glitchy, but it gets the job done. And you can see on Instagram and everything right here. And that also leads me, it makes the Instagram app native on the iPad. Now, like I said, it is a little bit buggy on iOS 12. I might even start a petition, man. I, I, it needs a petition. We need the Instagram app native on the iPad. All right, so this tweak right here is called Sugarcane. It just shows the percentage level. So my brightness is at 78%. My volume is 86. And it is uh, dynamic. So as you guys can see, it just updates in real time. Something that I think Apple should add in the future. And as you guys can see, my dock is dark, so that's thanks to Noctis 12. And it makes everything dark. My keyboard is dark, everything is dark. The control center, dark mode. And even if you go into the settings, everything is dark, which is looking similar to the iOS 13 or iPad OS. I keep on calling it iOS 13. And yeah, it looks very, very sleek. And especially at night, this is a handy tweak to have on iOS 12. I even speed up the animation so you can control how fast you want the animations to be. So if I launch up the settings, look how quickly it opens up. So that is animations be fast. So you guys can change the animation speeds. And this is just my liking so you guys could copy my settings if you like. And yeah, it's just open and close apps very, very quickly. But not too glitchy where it's just jumping all over the place. It's nice and smooth but quick. So look, calendar, boom, right there. Now this is pencil indicator. Now this is just only when you're charging your device. So it looks really, really cool and it works really well. So this one is called YouTube. So you can play any YouTube video in the background without worrying about it pausing. So this is really cool. Especially if you're listening to podcasts. Very, very handy tweak. Now one of my favorite tweaks of all time, short look. Thankfully it works on the iPad just well. I love this tweak so much, man. Ah, short look is an amazing idea. Man, I just love it, man. Hide icon labels. It just hides the icon labels on your home screen. Makes things a little bit more neater and minimalistic, just the way I like it. Pull to respring. Quickly respring your device by pulling down to respring on the settings application. I also have Wi-Fi passwords installed on my device, so if anyone want to ask for the Wi-Fi password, I have it right here on the fly, just like on my iPhone. And this is color flow. It basically adapts to the the color of the album art. So really cool. As you guys can see, so Kanye West. But the only thing I don't like about the music application on the iPad, it just take up that that just that half. It's just so annoying. I feel like Apple should have just have it the entire screen or have like a little color flow. Not color flow, but like cover flow. I don't know. It's just a waste of space here on the side. And I saved the best tweak for last. Oh my god, this is a... I love this tweak, man. UPIP is going to enable picture-in-picture 
on the YouTube application. I don't know why Google don't want to have picture in picture on the iPad, but with this tweak, it's going to allow you to do so. So let's say you're playing a video and you want to do something else. You want to surf the web. Instead of having a slide over, you just go home and now you have a picture in picture window and obviously you can surf the web and you can have something else. You can have Instagram on the side. Oops. Depends on the performance of your iPad. Depends, um, and yeah. So essentially, you have you have everything right here on the fly. So you really have three apps running at the same time. If you think about it, and Instagram is not really supported on Slide Over. So yes. Yeah, so yeah, really cool. And this is the new Call of Duty, by the way. Yeah, I'm Call of Duty look kind of good though. The hit detection look good, and the maps. Looks tactical, and I heard the beta should be coming out in, uh, on uh, I think August 20th. So yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to see some Call of Duty gameplay. I'm gonna be covering it on this channel too. That's why this channel is the best, man. I'm covering jailbreak tweaks, gaming, clothing. Like I, this is the best channel on YouTube. Trust me. But in terms of applications, I really don't have that much either. Like down here is my most used app. So I have YouTube, Safari, Mail, Twitter. I have the Studio app. This is for YouTube creators. I have uh, Google Maps. I don't know why that's down there. Um, you have the notes. I like to take notes very, very quickly. Of course, you guys know Instagram is my favorite app. And I use my music. This is just my recently used apps on the side. Um, but yeah, in terms of apps, I have the PlayStation app here, the Measure app. I didn't delete this because it's actually handy to have that. Um, I have my room control, so if I want to control the lights in my room, I could do so. I have Amazon Echo, so I can see what's going on with my Echo. The Harmony app, so I can control the TV, I can control my PlayStation. I love this Harmony remote app so much, as well as you have Amazon. It's pretty self-explanatory. eBay. Facebook Messenger, the PlayStation app. So if anyone wanna, you know, add me on PSN, you can add me at uh, this is Pops. I had this app. This is called Slice, and it's really cool. It needed to do an update, but as you guys can see, it automatically scans my email, and it's gonna give you the notifications on when it's gonna be delivered. I got Google Chrome there. I got the sub count. So this is just to see how many subscribers I have currently. Um, which is really cool, and they actually have the widget on here too, so it's faster to go to the widget than the app. I got my banking stuff, so Chase, Capital One, PayPal, AdSense. Got my games. I really don't have, only have one game. This is um, Stack. That's the name of the game. You just stack in it. If you p match them up perfectly, eventually your box is going to get bigger or your square. Yeah, I got my jailbreak stuff here. So I got my Facebook. Got the Domino's Pizza. I got Repo Vision, so it's constantly signing the um, jailbreak utility. ESPN, Chase. Chase should be with the banking applications so i'm going to move that news break this is an amazing application so it's going to give you the news constantly on the fly so really really cool and you know it's you do have ads but they give you the news right there on the spot and you know it's good to stay updated and see what's going on you know in the culture so yeah you know they're talking about asap rocky free my boy asap i think that's a staple tweak i have that on all my devices i have tweak box you guys know what that is if you jailbroke your device cinema so this is going to allow you to watch free movies i don't want to promote that because I don't want to get taken down on YouTube or anything. Um, you also have the App Store app. So you can order anything on the App Store. Netflix, Optimum app, the Weather Channel, SeatGeek. Oh yeah, this is a app where it's like a smart bulb. Not a smart bulb, a smart plug. Um, and I just downloaded it on my iPad. But I just last minute decided to use it on my iPhone. But I don't use it on the iPad. Team Viewer, so you can control your computer with your iPad. You control anybody's computer for that matter. Uh, on your iPad, which is really cool. You now is basically a live streaming big movie is another thing like uh, cinema, so you can watch movies. The Weather Channel, I have two of them, but they different versions. Uh, Geekbench, you know, pretty self-explanatory to see what's your Geekbench score. SoundCloud, Pluto, this is watching free TV on your iPad. I'm not sure if that app is still available right now. JetBlue, I got the Fly, the AirFly, so if I'm flying my drone. I could do so, and all these apps need to be updated because I have 32 gigabytes. So, yeah, I need to clear my iPad quick. I got the Uncover app. I got the airport utilities. This is just checking the, my Apple routers to make sure everything is okay. Deliveries is very, very similar to Slice, but you're doing everything manually. But, but in my opinion, this is a way better system. I got Music Rock. They say this is like free Apple Music. 
um, but it's no longer in the app store, so they took that down. Calculator Apple, please add the calculator app. Okay, we got the Canon app, so if I'm taking pictures, I can quickly get the pictures from the camera to the iPad. Uh, speed test is just checking out the speed tests on the Wi-Fi networks. Wix, so you can build your own website on your iPad. You got the LifeX, so you can control your um, your smart bulbs in the house. And I download this push-up app. I could really delete it. Intonation, Geico, Terminal, Hotels, Ebates. You guys get the idea. But I made this video to ask you guys a question. I'm willing to give up my jailbreak for the iPad OS. Just let me know in the comments down below, is it a good idea to give up my jailbreak for iPad OS? Um, there are some tweaks that I absolutely love on the iPad, but at the same time, iPad OS is going to give me more features. I can get the external hard drive, and it's just a little bit more better in terms of updates. You can have the widgets on your home screen here. Yeah, I, I'm willing to update and make more videos too for you guys, and people are probably going to watch it maybe more than the iOS 12 jailbreak on the iPad. But other than that, there's certain tweaks I am going to miss like this, having the slide over on the on, on the iPad here. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like on this video, comment down below. And other that, your boy Pops, and I'm out. Peace.